I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, March 28, 2021. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Prophets Faithful to God's Covenant as the title of the Spring Lesson Series and is categorized into three units or groups of lessons. In Unit 1, we talk about Faithful Prophets. Unit 2, we'll talk about Prophets of Restoration. And in Unit 3, we'll talk about Courageous Prophets of Change. Unit 1 of the Spring Quarterly Sunday School Lesson discusses the Faithful Prophets. The Faithful Prophets explores the reasons why prophets were necessary in Israel's history and also illustrates the fulfillment of God's promise given to Moses. The title of our fourth and final lesson in the Unit 1 Spring Lesson series is titled The Bearer of Bad News, and that's from 1 Kings 18th chapter, 18th verse. And it reads as follows. He answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and thou hast followed Balaam. In the key verse, we find that King Ahab deflected blame for the results of his actions and blames Elijah as a troublemaker, much as we find today when issues of right and wrong are raised in social and work environments. The title of today's lesson is The Bearer of Bad News. The background to the lesson centers around God's anger at the evil king Ahab, the worst of the worst of Israel's kings in terms of idolatry and evil, according to scripture. The Lord sent the prophet Elijah to deliver his warning and coming judgment to Israel for his disobedience to God and the worship of idols, primarily the false gods of Baal, as practiced by his wife, Jezebel. Elijah proclaimed that God would punish Ahab and Israel with a three-year drought to demonstrate the power of God, which brings us to today's lesson. There are three summary points for today. A futile search from 1 Kings 18th chapter, verses 5 and 6, and filling the wrong authority. 1 Kings 8, 17 through 16a, and 3, confronting the source of evil. And that's from 1 Kings 18th chapter, verses 16b through 18. The passage for the lesson today revolve around the key words prophet, feudal, confront, and bearer. A prophet is an individual, usually a man who speaks by divine inspiration or as the interpretation through whom the will of God is expressed, such as the prophet Elijah in today's lesson. Feudal is incapable of producing any useful result 
or pointless as in the case of today's lesson. Ahab was searching for grass, but it was pointless because he was searching against God's word. The drought was total. Confront means to challenge a person, position, or idea. Bearer, a person that carries or holds something. In this case, Elijah and Obadiah carries a message to King Ahab. Now, a fetal search from 1 Kings 18, 5 through 6. And in these passages, King Ahab and his head steward of the palace, Obadiah, head out on a mission to search for water and resulting vegetation that would surround that water in order to find grain for their animals. Now, the search was to save face and was a work around God's will and thereby not have to acknowledge God's word and repent concerning his actions and the result of drought as spoken or communicated by the prophet Elijah. Fearing authority from 1 Kings 18, 17 through 16a. And these passages discuss uh, Obadiah's encounter with Elijah during uh, after he and Ahab split up their search for water, and Elijah's challenge to Obadiah to go tell Ahab that Elijah is here. Now, Obadiah is concerned about the risk to his life of getting involved in carrying this message to Ahab, since Ahab has searched high and low for Elijah, and he may disappear again based on the spirit. Obadiah's concerns are legitimate. You know, the bearer or bad or unwanted news is sometimes cast as a troublemaker. Or sometimes, you know, we shoot the messenger as opposed to listening to the message. In his defense, Obadiah invokes his serving of the Lord and how he saved a hundred prophets from Ahab's wife Jezebel as evidence of his love of and devotion to the Lord. However, Elijah's request is a risk to his life. And even though he loves the Lord and all, he feels that he does not deserve death. Elijah provides reassurance to Obadiah that he has his back, in other words, and that he will present himself to Ahab and reduce the risk of Obadiah's concerns for his life. Obadiah then delivers the message of Elijah to King Ahab. Now, in confronting the source of evil, 1 Kings 18, 16b through 18, now in these passages, Ahab has received the message from Obadiah as communicated by Elijah and goes to meet Elijah. And Ahab immediately challenges Elijah as a troublemaker. And instead of accepting responsibility for his actions and listening to a message from the Lord, King Ahab deflects blame and called Elijah a troublemaker. Elijah redirects the troublemaker accusation back to Ahab that his actions and disobedience are the cause of his troubles. Elijah forced the issue with respect to Ahab's unfaithfulness and disobedience to God. Sometimes we have to stand up or address with people their actions for the good of relationships within our families, organizations, and even within the church. We have to show people that their consequences are the result of their actions in a godly and lovely manner. So the summary lesson points for Sunday, March 28, 2021 are a futile search from 1 Kings 18, 5 and 6 and Ahab searched for water, but God's words were final on the draft, so it was a futile search. Fearing the authority, sometimes we have to trust God more than we fear authority. Obadiah concerned that King Ahab would shoot the messenger, overrode the message of God. And confronting the source of evil, uh, from 1 Kings 18, 16b through 18. Sometimes we have to confront or stand up for what is right and acknowledge that sometimes the evil is 
from within us and we have to repent and change our actions based upon the word. And sometimes we do not want to hear it. We shoot the messenger, but we should always look within to see if the message fits. Thank you for watching. This is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, March 28th, 2021. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week. And we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.